Okay. Y'all see, look, we're off to a great start. <laughs> Alrighty, hello and welcome to my channel. Girl, the lens is over here. That's the viewfinder. Get it together. Take two. <laughs> hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Angel. It is so nice to meet you. Thank you for being here today. Give yourself a little, you know, clap it up. Dust your shoulder. You did that. Um, if you're coming from my Instagram, which, right? Cause who would I be if I didn't do that for you? If you're coming from my Instagram, um, then you know I've been thinking about uh, doing like a YouTube channel, finally starting a YouTube channel for a little bit now. Um, and I posted like some polls, uh, trying to get people to help me decide on like my channel banner, which you saw in the intro of this video as well, and logos and names and all that good stuff. Um, but outside of social media, I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel off and on for about a year now. And so I finally decided why the heck not? You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do some 11, do some 11. So here we are. Uh, this is just a basic introduction, welcome video, what you can expect to find on my channel going forward, the types of videos that I want to make, the type of content that you can see, so on and so forth. So let's get into it. So if you look on my, again, the channel banner that I have, like the the little picture thing in my jigger, that You'll see there are three different categories. The first one being language learning, second being art, and third being culture. I'm gonna start with language learning first because why not? So again, if you're coming from my Instagram, first of all, if you're coming from my Instagram, girl, hey, how you doing? Uh, how you been? Uh, okay, I just wanna say hey. If you're coming from my Instagram, uh, then you know that I have been formally studying Korean for a couple months now. I'd say probably June-ish or July is when I started actually formally learning Korean um, but I've been engaging with the Korean language and in Korean media in general for about seven years now it's been quite some time so of course over the course of those seven years I've picked up a lot of the language along the way and so if you're a k-pop stan if you watch k-dramas any of that kind of stuff then you know like that moment when you're watching a k-drama and you're doing something absentmindedly and you look up and it's been two minutes and you realize you haven't looked at the subtitles once but you know what's going on or like when you're listening to a k-pop song and you like listen to a whole verse and you're not looking at the lyrics but you know exactly what they're saying and it's like yeah 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 i was having more and more of those moments and i was like you know what at this point just learn the language just learn the language once i realized that like you know again it's been seven years so this is it's not like a phase kind of thing i've genuinely fallen in love with the korean language korean culture um and i'm actively trying to learn as many aspects of the culture as i possibly can and so the easiest way to start doing that or to kind of open that doorway is through learning the language and so that's what i've done um, I've actually found a really, really, really cool online support system through uh, social media and made some really, really cool social media friends who are also learning languages and stuff like that. So I'm going to be making videos documenting my language learning journey. Language learning journey. Girl, who are you? What? <laughs> so I'm going to be documenting my language learning journey um, each step of the way and some videos that you can expect to see in regards to learning Korean, um, study with me vlogs, how I learn uh, grammar, vocab, um, different apps that I use, different websites that I use, free resources for beginners, paid resources if you want that, um, all those kind of things. So yeah, those are, those are the kind of videos that you can expect to see um, in regards to learning Korean. And then a cute little segue into our next segment, even though I know art is like the second thing on my banner, but I'm gonna, we're just gonna go straight into culture because, right? Culture, of course, when learning a language, you're going to be introduced to the culture. And so those two kind of go hand in hand, which is why you can also expect to see um, different videos regarding Korean culture on my channel. For example, Korea is a very uh, food oriented, they're very like meal oriented, Kind of culture for example a greeting in korean is literally like have you eaten have you had a meal today just with strangers you just see somebody else you're oh hey how you been like have you eaten today so you can expect to see um different cooking videos again if you're coming from my insta which one more time is right here 
you will know your girl likes to throw it on in this kitchen right next to me okay i put my little cute little you know filters on the on the on the pictures and then put them up there um so yeah i really like to cook i really enjoy cooking nine times out of ten if i'm cooking i'm cooking korean food and so you can see different uh videos of me making different korean recipes trying out different cooking challenges i might try to make the squid game dargona snacks because everybody was you know losing their minds over that one um what else there's also a, a korean market not too far from my house that i go to pretty frequently i'm talking like at least twice a month um and so they have like a huge it's called latte mart it's a really 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 big chain um of supermarkets in korea and we're also getting an h mart literally seven minutes down the road from there so <laughs> i'm very excited um so of course grocery shopping vlogs what i usually get from the korean market um dishes that i usually make um, there's a really 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 sweet uh cashier that works there at the um latte market and i forgot how we started talking but um, we ended up speaking to each other in korean and you know she was super nice and like super encouraging about like me learning the language and i was like ah love it love it love it love it um and you can ask anybody that's learning a language right now talking like with natives please please i would rather give a public speech um but she was super nice super encouraging and it was just a really 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 good experience and so you know those are the kind of videos that you can see as it pertains to culture different cultural tidbits um and things like that and so that brings us to the last little section of my channel which is art so during the beginning of the pandemic last year what year is it what day is it hold on what is going on it is friday october 29th the year of our lord 2021 um so in the beginning of the pandemic 2020 last year once I realized that we were like gonna be at home for like a while, I was like, you know what? I should find something to do to keep myself busy so I don't go stir crazy. So what did I do? I started painting. Um, I have an older sister that paints. Right? So like, who would I be if I didn't do that? You know what I'm saying? Um, I believe her commissions are open. You should definitely hit her up. She's amazing. Anywho. Uh, I have an older sister that paints and I was like, you know what, you know, it, it seems to be working for her. So why don't I just try it out? Come to find out, um, the types of paintings that she does, that's not my truth. You know what I'm saying? That's not my testimony <laughs> and I can't draw for the life of me. So that is also not my path to walk. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up landing on fluid art or flow art as some people call it. And so it's definitely a more kind of free flowy free for me the paint does the work for you uh which is definitely my kind of painting because as i said <laughs> we all know our strengths and our weaknesses and i i'm not exempt from that you know what i'm saying so i started painting pretty regularly and of course i was like posting them on my stories on instagram and different social medias and so i had people reaching out to me like oh these are so cool these are so dope how did you make this where can i get one can you make me one all of the above and I was like what I was very 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 appreciative um I actually have some paintings over there right now um so I started painting and um like doing commissions and I would just sell them to people that wanted them and I actually ended up making an Etsy an Etsy shop for the paintings that I did I have four one two three I have four um listed up there right now and i kind of don't have any room to make any more until those are gone so if you want here's the etsy shop it'll also be um the second link in the description of this video um right underneath my instagram link so if you want to purchase one you can go to the etsy shop if you want me if you want to do like a commission or you want me to make one for you specifically you can just reach out to me on instagram and i would be more than happy to do that for you so some of the videos that you can see on my channel as it pertains to art will be things like unedited just start to finish how i do a painting um the different products that i use different measuring methods different painting techniques i love a good dutch pour okay almost all the actually all four of the paintings that i have right now over here and on my etsy shop all four of those are dutch pour technique paintings um which are a little bit uh more complicated than what i started out doing which was the open cup pour but I really, really, really love the way that they turn out. They're so much fun to do. Um, and so you can see me trying different painting techniques. 
of course, uh, start to finish, unedited, how I do it, what I use, all that good stuff. And then any painting that I do on here, um, if it's not a commission, it will be up on my Etsy shop. So if you see one that you like, go on over, snatch it up before someone else does. Or if you want, again, if you want me to make a, like a personal commission, no problemo. You can just hit me up on Instagram and I would be more than happy to do that for you. So... I want to say that's it. I want to say I have touched all my bases so far. Talked about language learning, talked about culture, uh, talked about art and painting. Of course, if there's a video that you like want to see specifically that you want to see me do, for sure leave it down in the comments. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, drop your Instagram username in the comments so I can go follow you on Instagram. Girl, what? Hello. 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 If you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and drop your Instagram username in the comments so I can go follow you and hype you up and show you some love. Thank you for being here today. As I said, you know what I'm saying? A little one of those. Pat on the back. Do it. Um, yeah. I'm looking at my notes from my phone just to make sure that I talked about everything I was supposed to talk about today. And I do believe that concludes the end of this video. Video. So again, thank you so much for being here today. Make sure to subscribe. There's going to be a lot of content coming soon. I'm going to try to post every Sunday. Um, so you've got something to do every weekend. You know what I'm saying? You got another person on the internet to watch make a fool of themselves occasionally. <laughs> Everybody wins. Everybody eats over here. I get a subscriber. You get to laugh at me and we get to be friends. I don't, I'm not seeing the downfall here. You know what I'm getting? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm getting at? That is going to be the end of this video. If you've made it this far again, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to making more content and posting more, posting on here more often. Um, and that is it. Yeah. So peace out, make good choices, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.